Why don't Italian restaurants in England put out pastas like this? It's not even hard. Hi guys, today we're making my famous fettuccine with shrimp and salami in a rosé sauce. There's so much going on here. It's packed with flavour. Very simple to make, but very delicious. Outstanding food. Got to try this one. Hi guys, today I'm going to be making one of my favourite all-time quick pastas. This is a Cajun sausage and shrimp fettuccine in a rosé cream sauce. I'm going to be using some Philadelphia cream cheese as just like a quick cheat. I've got some fresh garlic, some red bell pepper, some onions, some mushrooms, fresh basil, some cherry tomatoes, some of this beautiful sausage here. Um, right, I've only got 15 minutes, so let's get straight into this. Let's do this. All right, first off, I'm going to be shelling and deveining my shrimp. So straight on and just rip the heads off, these beautiful things, and just work away around and the peel will just, the shells will just come straight off. You can cook them with, you get a lot more flavor, but as this is a pasta dish, um, I prefer not having to like pick off, not having to shell them. But if you're in Italy, it wouldn't let you shell them. And to devein them, I'm just gonna get my knife here. Your, your fishmonger should actually do this for you, but it only takes two seconds once you know how, and you just, that vein will just slide straight out. It's quite therapeutic this. Right, these fish heads that we've got here will make the most amazing fish stock. So you don't have to waste these. If you've got time, go ahead and do that. Right, my shrimp has been shelled and deveined. Now we're gonna go in very simply with a touch of salt. Not too much, because my, my black and Cajun seasoning has got quite a lot of salt in there. And a generous sprinkling of Cajun seasoning. You wanna go in quite heavy with this. A glug of olive oil. And I'm just gonna use a spoon just to make sure that this is all like coated nicely. Oh, those look lovely. Now I'm just gonna grab my skewer here and I'm just gonna pass these through to create some lovely shrimp skewers. They're just gonna be lined on my pasta and they're gonna look amazing. Right, I'm gonna set these beautiful marinated prawns on a plate for about five minutes. I'm gonna get cracking with my quick sauce um, and then I'm gonna put these in the grill. Let's dice our mushrooms and just very quick i'm just going to dice up this hungarian salami at angles and you're probably going to see me using this a lot i've recently discovered it and i'm really enjoying it right let's go in with some good quality olive oil straight in with our onions peppers and garlic right this is a 15 minute dinner so we haven't got too much time to be messing around, so just get everything in there and let's get a good saute going and just get a bit of color on those onions. Right, let's give our saute a little bit of encouragement by adding a bit of salt, a whack of pepper, sprinkling of dried oregano, lovely. Right, I can go straight in now with my salami and that's just gonna give everything a massive hit of flavor and it's gonna add some color to the pan and you want to put your mushrooms in at the same time as you put in the salami because you want them to soak up that meaty flavour. Lovely. This is looking good. I'm just going to go ahead and add my tomato puree and that's just going to give everything a hit of colour and like a tang and a sweetness to the dish. Right, I'm just going to let my sauté do its thing quickly while I just get some fresh basil into that pan and just infuse its flavour into the dish. Fresh basil, just give that a stir in and let the basil infuse the dish. Right, I think we're almost ready for our cherry tomatoes. And I'm just gonna give these, get a couple of handfuls of these and they're going straight in. I'm just gonna pop these into halves and quarters. Tomatoes aren't really very good around here at the moment, so I'm just using cherry tomatoes because they've got that sweetness and that flavor to them, which is exactly what you need. Okay, tomatoes and pepper have to, has to be done. Can't have tomatoes without pepper. Right, just let the tomatoes wilt down, release their moisture into the sauce and just let them just kind of do their thing. Right guys, I've got some beautiful fettuccine here which I'm just gonna place on the boil. Um, and this will take about six to seven minutes to cook. And by that time my sauce and my prawns will be done. Right, 
That looks perfect and delicious and it's ready for our canned tomatoes. So I'm going to put half a can of chopped tomatoes and just let it do its thing. Right now using my fork, I'm just going to push into these cherry tomatoes that I put in earlier and just get them to like crush, just basically just crush them into the sauce and let all that beautiful sweetness just kind of run out into the sauce. Right, our sauce is looking perfect. As you can see, when you spread it like that, it just, it just runs clear. And that's exactly what you want, right? A nice thick sauce for your Alfredo. Okay guys, I'm really happy with how this is reduced down. And um, I think we're ready for our cream cheese. And this is perfect just to keep in the fridge because it just saves you a lot of hassle. So straight in with two tablespoons of this beautiful thick cream cheese. And I just want to kind of just push that into there and just cook it into the sauce. Right, so that's almost done, right? And right, just right now, what I'm going to do is give it a dusting of Cajun. Is this traditional pasta? No, obviously not. Cajun spice in a pasta, but you know what? It's really good. Beautiful, right? It's time for me to add my fettuccine. This is beautiful pasta. Straight into the sauce. And before I do anything else, it's going to give everything, going to give my pasta a mandatory dusting of Parmesan. Just kind of want to fold your sauce into your pasta. Right, I'm really happy with how pasta is looking. It's fully coated. Let's go and check on those prawns. Beautiful, right? My Cajun prawns are perfectly cooked. So happy with them. I'm just going to give these a just a tiny, tiny, tiny hit of. Asian spice, just a sprinkling, just to, you know, give them a bit of encouragement. Right, let's plate up a beautiful portion of our fettuccine. Okay, just before we finish up, give everything a beautiful mandatory sprinkling of our beautiful Parmesan cheese, a hit of pepper, freshly ground. And we top with our beautiful skewer of prawns and some fresh basil leaves. And that is my Cajun fettuccine with sausage and shrimp. Outstanding. Okay, I can't wait to get stuck into this. First off, let's try one of these prawns. I already know they're perfectly cooked because, well, because I cooked them. Mm. Perfectly cooked. Outstanding. Mm. Those prawns are amazing. Right, let's try this fettuccine. First off, the pasta is al dente. The sauce is rich. The sauce is stuck onto the pasta. I hate it when you go to restaurants and you pick up the pasta and it just the sauce just slides off it. This is stuck onto the pasta. You pick it up, the salami, sweetness of the peppers, burst of freshness from those tomatoes. So the reason this is one of my favorite pastas is because it kind of ticks every box. Guys, it's a 15 minute meal, outstanding food, really simple to prepare. Make this at home. It's not just delicious, it's absolutely effing delicious. Beautiful.